God bless you, my brother. You too, thanks. Dr. Blackman. Good afternoon. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, you know, one of the things I did this evening, I was preparing some questions and I said, what the hell is this? Uh, I mean, this is Terence. Dr. Blackman, this is Terence the book for me, but um, you're no stranger here. You, you've been here several times, so let's chat. Well, it's always a pleasure to be here and, uh, you know, to start always, I think I want to you know, continue to commend you for the work that you've been doing in this regard. I think it, in, in time, the, 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 the sort of full importance, the full flowering of this work will be, will be evident to, to, to many of us. Thank you so much, my brother. Leadership matters. Yeah, so I, I, I have been on this journey. As, as you know, the last time I came here, I was coming back to New York from yeah. Colorado. To, to chair the mathematics department at Medgar Evers College. And, and so, in some sense, I've been thrust into leadership. And as I've been thrust into leadership, and as I've sort of examined my own sort of tendencies vis-a-vis -vis leadership, I, I've come to recognize how, how extremely important mm -hmm. leadership is. It, it, it really does matter who runs the bodega. You see, it really does matter who, who, who runs our educational institutions, who is the principal of the elementary school around mm -hmm. the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, it really does matter who is the mayor of New York City. It really does matter who is the chair of the math department at Medgar Evers College. And I think that part of this conversation, I hope it really does matter uh, for you and I, uh, the people who run the institutions in our native land, Guyana. Leadership really does matter, and it matters profoundly. And, and many, the lives of many people mm -hmm. depend in a very serious way on the quality of the leadership. Well, yeah. Let me say, let me inter uh, interject here for a moment and say what really matters. And uh, what matters is that I introduce you properly without, without assuming that all our audience, all, all our listeners are familiar with you. This is... Dr. Terrence Blackman, who was born in Georgetown, Guyana. He's the old boy of the famed Guyanese High School, Queens College. Terrence graduated cum laude and honors with the honors in mathematics from Brooklyn College. And he holds M, M Phil and PhD degrees in mathematics and the graduate school from the graduate school of City University of New York. I have to get that out. I, I sometimes don't recognize that. <laughs> Leadership. We just, had, we just had a change of government, right? And yes. during the campaign, the young people came out in droves, regardless of party, regardless of ethnicity, and they challenged the status quo. They did, they put in the due diligence, they put in the hard work for a transition to take place, for this change to happen. But this could not have been brought about with leader, without proper leadership. Let's speak to that a little bit. Let's speak to the youth. Why is this, why is leadership important to the young people of Guyana? Well, well, I think just recently, as part of our work with the New York Queen's College chapter, we embarked on a visit to Georgetown to hold a conference which was titled Empowering and Inspiring the Youth. Mm -hmm. What we see is that our young people, trite, it's trite and true, our, our young people are the future. And the question is, what are the models that we have in place that our young people ought to emulate? What are the things that we're promoting to them that they ought to look at as the things that they should aspire to? And it's in this category that I think, that I think, particularly in Guyana. So maybe we can range from, from Guyana to issues that are vitally important here in Brooklyn, but perhaps to start in Guyana. I think that, particularly in Guyana, we have we have we have we have lost to uh, uh, some degree. Our leadership has lost some of its character, and I think we're we're now in a place where we're gain, regaining. Uh, some of that old character. I, I 
had not visited Georgetown in perhaps almost 15 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, my first visit was in October of 2014. And at that point, uh, having kind of looked at the country anew through lens that uh, were, 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 were lens that were that was sort of filtered through my experiences here in the United States and in other parts of the world. Uh, I felt that we had we had we had really lost something, and 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 vowed to participate in a meaningful way to 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 once again kind of sort of renew reinvigorate mm -hmm. the promise of Guyanese leadership, and and I think that in this last visit, the work that we done, uh, the work that we did in terms of empowering and inspiring the young people at Queens College and also working with the young people from Christchurch and working with the young people from Richard Ishmael and uh, working with the young people from Annandale Secondary. I think that more than ever, the, 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 it becomes very clear to me that we have, we have many young people who are extremely talented. So, so I want to say this very clearly. Our young people are extremely talented. And you know, Dr. Cambridge just, just once again, talked about the youth. And I, I want to emphasize and, and, and reiterate that Guyana at this juncture possesses some very talented young people. And it is in some sense a very a very a very pregnant moment. Either we will rise to the challenge of the 21st century mm -hmm. or or we won't. And and there's not going to be a place in between. Either these young people will take us to our sort of rightful place in the 21st century, or they won't. And I think that the thing that will determine whether or not these young people take us uh, where we need to go is whether or not we, you and I, and the folks who are older can summon the kind of character, can summon the kind of competence to leave them with an inclusive vision, a vision of a more just vision of, 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 of what the Guyana polity is supposed to be. And, and so, so, so I, I have really been thinking a lot about the question of leadership within the context of, within the context of Guyana. So mm -hmm. questions of suicide, questions of just the competence of running our transportation infrastructure, the competence of running our IT infrastructure, the competence of running our media infrastructure. And how are we going to ask young people to do those things? What kinds of models do we provide for young people to do those kinds of things? You know, one thing that comes to mind as you, yeah. you speak so eloquently um, about leadership and so on, and uh, when you mention that you were just in, in Guyana visiting um, yes. uh, with, with, with your alumni association. With the Queen's College Alumni Association, yes. One thing I have to mention is that traditionally the alumni association when they visit, visit Guyana, they speak, whatever it is that they are sending or they are taking, speak their, specifically to their respective schools. You mentioned Christchurch and other schools that were included in this, this effort, this initiative. Why was this so? Uh, I, I think the credit for this goes to the members of the organization, but specifically I'll say that the credit for this goes to the current president, John Campbell, uh, the vice president, Karen Wharton, uh, Sarah Nurse, and uh, a, a number of the other individuals who were there, of whose names perhaps I will forget. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what they, Michelle Nichol Foster, Michelle Foster uh, uh, I, I think what they have, uh, Nathalie Caldera, I, I think what they have recognized is once again this sort of idea of leadership. Part of our responsibility as, as individuals who have emerged from an institution like Queen's College is not only to give back to Queen's College, but to give back to the entire society by way of our work with Queen's College. So, 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 so the model for what we're doing is something that says, uh, yes, we are tied to Queen's College, this is our alma mater, but what we're doing is to say that the things that we're doing at Queen's College are also things that ought to be done more broadly across the Guyanese space. So we see that inspiring and empowering young people to more effectively participate in the Guyanese polity 
is something that ought to be done at Christ Church, is something that ought to be done at St. John's, it's something that ought to be done at Richard Ishmael, it's in, something that ought to be done at St. Joseph's, it's something that ought to be done at St. In St. Stanislaus. The, the point, Selwyn, is that uh, Guyana is a very small country. Yeah. Uh, Guyana has less than a million people. And so what we see is that it's vitally important for every Guyanese to be educated in a way that makes them a competitive individual in the 21st century. Uh, Guyana will not uh, uh, you know, be a low-wage economy uh, for, for it won't be a low-wage low economy. Mm -hmm. it, it, for it to survive, it will be a high-tech, high-wage economy. Right. It, it's just the nature of, of, the, of the demographics uh, of Guyana. And so, and so part of what we see is our role in the, in the Queen's College Alumni Association is to begin to seed the space with the kinds of ideas that we think are, 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 are ideas that will support the growth of Guyana, mm -hmm. that supports Guyana as a more just, a, a, a more inclusive, uh, a, a more economically just, a place where, where the wealth of, 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 of the nation is shared more broadly. And, and, and I think that we've, we've, we've tried to do that and with some success. And I, 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 I look forward to continuing to doing that. Some of the areas that come to mind, I can think of like uh, health. Of course, you mentioned these things, education, violence against women, rape. I mean, violence, period but especially violence against our, our women and, and we, we have to implement or find a way of providing the kind of leadership that will transform our, our nation, shift this paradigm that have crept into our ethos where men, young men feel that it, it, it is okay to violate women violently and, and, and rape women and, and get away with it. That, that has to change. Yes, I, I, I think this, this absolutely must change. I, I think it is one of the, it is one of the, I think, black marks uh, on, on our culture. I think that all of the research makes very, very clear that when women are supported, when women participate in a meaningful way in the economy of a society, that society is better. Uh, you know, one can read the documents from the United Nations, one can read the documents from scholars all across the United States, <laughs> one can read documents from scholars all across the Western and non-Western world. And, 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 and the result, it, the evidence is clear. It is absolutely clear that the participation of women in the economy, the participation of women in education, the participation of women across all of the sectors makes a significant difference in terms of the quality of the society that we have. And I think that this is something that we have to be honest about. Our, our society, our Guyanese society, has not been as welcoming uh, to our women as we ought to be. Mm -hmm. And I think even in our organization, I, I, I must say, even in our Queen's College organization, mm -hmm. I, I think that we, we have not been as, 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 as fast as we ought to be in terms of reaching out and ensuring that, that young women who now constitute almost a majority at the institution are, are playing the roles, are playing the leadership roles that they need to play. And this is something that I think that we will work uh, 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 very seriously to, to promote. Because I do think that it, it, that it will help us in a number, not just me personally thinking this, but I, I want to be clear, all of the research yes. indicates that this is the strategy. Countries in which women do well are countries that do well. Talking about the women, I, I, I am going to invite some of the women that have um, been instrumental in, in this initiative to visit Guyana and, and um, provide these various workshops for the, stu for the students. Um, I, I, I can think of uh, Karen Wharton and Sarah Norris and Natalie Caldera and Michelle, Michelle Mr. Paul, Foster. So. I mean, uh, and many others, Dioki Pestano, Maxine, yeah, many, many others. No, I, I don't want to, to I don't want to steal or, or to, to steal their thunder, but I want to ask you about your experience when you were there. Um, what did you see that, in, that, that makes, made you feel uh, optimistic that 
we are on the right path, or you are on the right path. I said we because, you know, I'm I, you know, part of it's, it's College of the Man. But you are on the right path with whatever it is you are doing to empower the young minds of Guyana. Uh, I'm very optimistic uh, about Guyana and Guyanese. Uh, I don't think I would ever not be optimistic about Guyana and Guyanese. Uh, what, what evidence have, have I seen in the last visit that suggests to me that that this optimism is warranted. Uh, certainly, there is a there is a new spirit. Uh, there there is a new spirit in in Georgetown. I, I, was, I, I must confess that my 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 views are limited to Georgetown in this matter because I, I was unable to travel out into the other parts of the country, which I, I I would usually do on a visit. But what I saw in Georgetown was 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 real energy around kind of renewal. Was, mm -hmm making things anew, a kind of understanding that, that uh, this is ours, so to speak, and, and, and we have to shoulder the responsibility of, of making it great. And we have been great before. Uh, you know, I, I, perhaps I, I, I should say, you know, I, I'm not taking sides, so to speak, in the, in the political dynamic. I, I think it's clear to everyone that, that that things deteriorated, yeah. and 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 that deterioration uh, has been halted, so to speak. There is a renewed commitment to the environment. There is a re renewed commitment to, again, trying to solve the challenges of living in the urban space that we call Georgetown, which, when we grew up, we affectionately referred to as a garden city. Mm -hmm. So what I saw in our visit in October of, 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 2000, of 2015, a few weeks ago, was that there is a genuine, renewed spirit to making this once more a garden city. <laughs> and I, I, I was quite happy. What I, what I will say is that, is that I'm, I'm optimistic, but I'm also not naive. Uh, this is a very, very challenging job. And, and, and this will require a tremendous amount of work on the part of all of the stakeholders who are there. And I suppose maybe my voice would be one that says uh, it, it is important for all of the stakeholders to, 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 to come around the table and to argue really about how do we solve the problems of, say, the questions of you know, maternal deaths. Mm -hmm. Right, so we have we have a situation where where quite frequently we see young women going into our hospitals and 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 dying in childbirth. Uh, at some level, in 2016, given the kind of given the kind of expertise that we have as a society, mm -hmm. this is no longer something that we should tolerate, and and this is no longer something that all stakeholders should tolerate. And, and, and so, and so this, is, this is the kind of thing that I think I'm perhaps more pragmatic about, sort of saying, the kinds of things, what do we have to do, all parties, mm -hmm. to ensure that we all value the, 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 the importance of childbirth. So if a child is born in the Pomeroon or in the Rupununi or in Paramakatoi, uh, that child has the access to the best possible facility. The, the, the infant mortality rates across our space is, is, is reduced. I think that benefits everyone, and I think that that is something that everyone should agree on. It's, 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 it's almost impossible to sit opposite you and not bring up mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You are at Medgar. Uh, yes, I right? am. You are the head of your department. Uh, yes. Okay. You've, you've lived and worked, educated and worked here in the United States most of your life. Yes. Right? I mean, yes, 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 yes. So yes. You, you have adopted and, you know, you're familiar with lots of educational models that you know work from experience and so on. If you had the opportunity, if you had the buy-in of the Ministry of Education, the President of Guyana, is there a particular First of all, would you use your skills? Would you um, use your skills to implement some sort of um, strategy for teaching math in Guyana? 
So yes, so the answer is yes, and uh, what we what we intend to do as part of the uh, New York chapter of the Queen's College of is we intend to have in July of 2016, uh -huh. uh, we intend to start a small math camp uh, for young men and women in the third and fourth forms in Ghana. Uh, so we plan to do that in July of 2016. So the answer is yes. I, I, I intend to work vigorously to see that to see that mathematics is done at the kind of level that is consistent with the kind of mathematics that is necessary to be a productive citizen in the 21st century in, the, in this sort of global space that we occupy. Uh, without, uh, so, so the point is, mathematics is the underpinning of the science and technology economy. Uh, Ghana, because of its small size, because in terms of small size, in terms of the number of people, uh, our, our development strategy must necessarily be one which focuses on on building capacity of individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're not going to be a you know large manufacturing low wage economy. It's, it, it's just impossible. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. So, so the only way that Guyana will progress is to have, as it has had and as it does have now, but perhaps not as motivated and not as, perhaps as purposed as it should be, is to have a society in which people can think really effectively about how to solve problems in the global space. And, and underpinning this ability to solve problems in the global space is the discipline of mathematics. And so I intend as part of my contribution as as, as, as Dr. Cambridge uh, just pointed out, as part of his contribution is to, is to think about the, the arts and culture. Yeah. I, I think as part of my small contribution is to, is to seed the space with ideas that go to, to, to supporting the development of the Guyanese capacity in, in, in science, technology, engineering. And, and I think at the root of that is, is the discipline of mathematics, and we intend to, I, I intend to do that. And I, I should say, uh, I was, uh, we were very fortunate to meet both uh, 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 the, the president, uh, uh, President Granger, and uh, the, the Minister of Education, uh, uh, Minister Rupnarain, in, in this visit. And I, I, I came away with the impression that uh, both of these gentlemen uh, care very deeply about Guyana and about education within the context of Guyana. So, so I, 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 I see that as we, as, as, as we look to the future, mm -hmm. that there will be a very, very, very uh, strong effort on our part to, to play, to, to, to lend our expertise to the challenge of, 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 of development.